Hi everybody, it's Mike, the Newburytown Library Tech Help Guy, with a quick tip on browsing the web on your iPad. Often when we are browsing the web, we want to go to websites that contain private information we don't want others to see. Since many of us share our devices with others like spouses or children, there may be instances where we want our browsing to be private, like when planning a surprise birthday or searching for a holiday gift. There's a simple feature in Safari on the iPad that can help you do this better. It's called private browsing. Private browsing does not keep track of which websites you visit or what search terms you have typed. So let's see how it works. Here I have Safari with several open tabs. I now want to go online and search for a gift, a diamond ring, but I don't want my spouse to know what I'm up to. At the top right of Safari, I'll tap on the icon that looks like two boxes. This gives me a tiled view of all the open tabs. Notice at the top there is a word private. Tap there and you enter private browsing mode. Notice all of the other tabs have disappeared. Now tap done. The search bar changes to dark gray and you can type something in as usual. I'll type in diamond ring and then I'll open one of the links to get a tab as usual. And there's the result. Now if this isn't the result I want, I can keep searching as usual as we've discussed before. But let's say that I'm satisfied with this and I now know what diamond ring I want to buy. So when I'm done, I'll tap on the two box icon in the upper right again. Close the open windows by tapping on the X in the upper left corner. And then tapping on private. Now I'll tap Done and I'm back to the browser. If I tap on the bookmark icon in the upper left and choose History, I'll see there is no history of my visit to the Diamond website. Remember that if you have multiple devices and use iCloud, your browsing history for all of your devices is visible on all of your other devices. So if you want to keep that gift a secret, Remember to use private browsing. That's it for today's quick tip. Please check back for more quick tips on the Newbury Town Library Tech Help Facebook page. Also be sure to take advantage of Tech Help Wednesday, where you can get one-on-one -on -one help from 12 to 2 p.m. at the Newbury Town Library.